What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've been trying to stop buying cars. I'm trying to just deal with the projects I have going on. But I got a lot of friends in the automotive industry and uh, when they need money, they call me and offer me really good prices on their cars. So unfortunately, I just got offered another car I can't turn down. Um, it's something I've always wanted. It's a Mazda Speed 6, six speed manual. So uh, according to him, all it needs is injector seals. Uh, I don't know what that means, to be honest. I've never worked on a Mazda Speed, but I know they're direct injection. So uh, injector seals can be a big thing. The price he gave me is phenomenal, even though it has a salvage title. Uh, I don't really care because it's for me. I've fallen in love with this little WRX. It's been a great car. I'm at 212 right now, so I've put 8,000 miles on this thing. Beat the absolute shit out of it. Uh, jumped it. It took me to the ski basin 23 times. I got 23 days of skiing in this year, so that's a personal record that I'm really proud of. I'm comfortable retiring this car though for uh, the summer and getting into something more fun, more driver engaged, like a manual transmission. So yeah, the Rex is gonna be decommissioned for now. So I have an appointment to get the car at 12. It is currently 1042. Car needs a battery, so I'm going to swing to Walmart and buy a battery for it before I even buy the car. That way I can drive the car away. So let's get to it. First of all, I'm going to call my buddy at the shop I'm getting it from. And Hey, Tommy, can you check what size battery is in j -Row's car? Yeah. Thanks, bro. If you could just text that to me, I'm, I'm going to go buy a new battery. Okay. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna head to Walmart, buy a cheap $50 battery, and uh, that will get me rolling. Looks like we got a 51R. So that's developed a little more, and it sounds like there's one at the shop that I can buy or have. So we're scrapping Walmart, heading straight to the shop, and I'm just gonna hang out with my buddy till uh, our other buddy gets there. So here's the car. Pretty sure it has an exhaust. Has some pretty questionable on style XXR rims. I don't know if it has an access port. I'm gonna have to search in it. Not bad though. I'm pretty stoked on it. Uh, this is freaking awesome. Six speed manual. And then according to the old owner, it has a reman engine in it. So someone's definitely at least painted the valve cover. And it's definitely, it's rebuilt from salvage. So I think it's been crashed over on this side. But for the price I just paid for it, and it came with a brand new interstate battery, uh, I'm very happy. I have this bad habit of buying cars just because of the noises they make. Love it! First stop is gas. Love those things. Uh, the WRX always got this Eco 88 crap. This is the only car that I'm gonna put 91 in. My 335 didn't even get 91, but this thing, I don't know how it is. It's new to me, so 91 it is. bucks for a full tank yay love buying new cars with fully empty tanks but at least it has premium so i'm gonna go beat the out of this thing
uh, apparently that is the injector seals are bad. So the car did come with uh, brand new injector seals from this company, I forget the name. I'll show you guys them, they're really cool. They look like bullet shell casings. Injector seals are from Overspeed Motors. And yeah, they look literally like bullet shells. These little things are $200 for a set of four. Apparently all I need to do is pull the intake manifold and put those on, but it runs and drives fine, just loses compression through the injector seals and makes a puttering sound. Turbo sounds so good, I love it. First thing I want to do is I'm going to wash this car. It looks horrible. It's been sitting outside of the, my homie shop for a while, so it's filthy. There's leaves all over it. So I'm going to see how a little power wash cleans it up. Looks a little better. Definitely it only looks so good because it's wet. The paint's pretty faded on this thing. I'm gonna go clean the interior out because this thing's disgusting. Trunk's full of shit. I opened it to wash these jams right here. And yeah, I don't know why there's so much shit in this car. So I'm gonna go see, oh yeah, and this is nice and loose. So that's good. I'll probably lose that on the highway today doing 120. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go throw away all the trash I can in this thing and uh, make it really my own car. shit out of the car this is all trash right here so i'm glad to get rid of that these are random tools i found so these are going back to the old owner and this is just some of his personal stuff he has these uh kneeling pads for all that sucking he was doing i found a vacuum i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum it it's just you know disgusting so with a nice little vacuum it should look good this car is such a piece of crap and I can't get over how good it looks in this shop. There was a good score when I was cleaning it. Cleaned up pretty nice, you know, the carpet needs to be fixed and stuff. But I found this Cobb access port. So that's pretty cool and it looks like this is where it plugs in. Not too sure, gonna have to see what's up with that. But overall, the interior cleaned up pretty good. I need some detailer to really get these jams there's just dirt on everything and all my cleaning supplies are back at my house so this is as good as it gets for now seriously it looks so much better than it did before i'm stoked on that outcome here's the whole bag of trash i pulled out it's a lot of trash now i can uh really consider it like my own new daily 
that's all for the video guys just wanted to show you the new daily it needs some work like i said those injector seals are bad and i need to figure out why the access port won't boot up and uh get it so i can tune it so yeah um stay tuned for the clips of me beating the shit out of this